and welcome to CNCF Minutes. Today, we we'll learn about Linkerd. So Linkerd is a service mesh for Kubernetes. Now let's first try to understand uh, what a service mesh is in a very short intro. So let's say you have few services, S1, S2, S3, S4. So these are the services which are just the microservices applications that communicate with each other, uh, forming a single big application. So you can say that there's a big application that is divided into chunks of smaller microservices and they talk to each other. So now when you talk about a service mesh, uh, there are two basic things. Uh, one is the data plane, one is the control plane. So the data plane is actually the proxy which is uh, injected inside the application. So you can see this is a pod and this is your application container and then your proxy is injected as a sidecar in that particular pod and you don't have to change any architecture for implementing service mesh so the proxy is responsible for communicating between the services authentication which request is allowed to this particular service like uh, whether s1 can call to s1 or s2 uh, should be able to send traffic to s3 and then the observability or the metrics generation the latency the http errors try to mitigating those issues and then the security mutual tls all these things uh, can be taken care by the proxy proxy can be envoy ha or in linkerd case it is linkerd proxy uh, so usually the traffic that goes uh, from the load balancer to the service acts as a north to south uh, traffic and in inside the cluster or within the cluster the traffic is called east west traffic so these are some of the terminologies that you might come across in general and then you can say that your control plane and data plane which forms a service mesh your uh, control plane handles the data plane coordination so all the proxies uh, their communication their service discovery the tls metrics aggregation takes takes is taken care by the control plane uh, then you also have a concept of SMI, which is called Service Mesh Interface. These are the APIs defined, which are implemented by the service meshes. Uh, so all the service meshes like uh, Istio, Linkerd, they, are, they have implemented this SMI. So all in all, uh, a service mesh provides these three fundamental things, which is visibility to the services, reliability of the services, and security of the services. Also, the authentication and the canary deployments are taken care of by the proxy. So the proxy can determine whether 80% traffic goes to A or 20% uh, goes to the B version of the same application. So all those things are also the advantages of using service mesh. So Linkerd. So Linkerd is service mesh for Kubernetes. It is very easy to use and uh, it's made in such a way that it works as it is. And it is very simple to operate on the very ground level and very simple to install as well. So, and it has minimum resource requirements. So yes, when you install a service mesh, which is a complex ecosystem onto the cluster, it gives you uh, the complexity of all the uh, proxies that get installed, all the control plane components that can inst get installed and take your resources from the cluster. So it's very important that the resource levels are kept to minimum when you are having the proxies and when you're having the control plane components. So that is where uh, Linkerd has managed to do so by writing all the proxies in a language called Rust and the other, the data plane is written in Go. So the component wise, it has a UI, it has a control plane, it has a data plane, and installation wise is super simple. You just install the CLI, then you check your cluster of what all components, whether it's, it is able to install Linkerd, and then is the control plane installed, which is Linkerd install, and your kubectl apply F, so you your Linkerd gets control plane gets installed onto the cluster. Then is the Viz, uh, which is actually the deployment of the Prometheus, the metrics, and the dashboard Linkerd dashboard. Uh, it's optional but uh, very useful because I'll show you the dashboard. And then uh, you can inject the Linkerd into the application. These are the proxies. So you just take the deployment file and then you just do a Linkerd inject. So that is how simple it is. You don't have to, or a developer do not have to change the application architecture in order to implement a service mesh like Linkerd. So you can just inject the sidecar or the proxy as a sidecar uh, into your application. Architecture wise, uh, whatever we have discussed is mentioned over here, like the control plane and the data plane. Data plane is the Linkerd proxy, which talks to the application and handles all the IP tables, rules, uh, the validations, etc., and talking to other services. So in the control plane, there are other bunch of components. So that's on a very high level uh, what Linkerd is. Uh, let's see Linkerd in action. So what we have done is we have installed uh, Linkerd onto a cluster uh, using the getting started page of Linkerd, which is a uh, very simple process of installation. And then uh, you can see this is the Linkerd dashboard. Uh, and uh, you can see the Linkerd namespace and the Linkerd viz namespace. And the 
deployment to which we have injected the sidecar proxy. So all these three things are getting captured and there are different fancy Grafana dashboards as well. So this is the Linkerd dashboard and you can see the 95 latencies, you can see the success rate, request volumes, all these things are there. Let's go to the application which is deployed, uh, which is a demo application. So you can see all the pods are running, but there is an error in one particular service. Now it is very difficult to mitigate that error, but with Linkerd it can be, do it is doable. Now for this emoji app, we can see uh, that what all services it is getting detected to. So all this is a live matrix uh, that is coming and getting generated. So there is this particular service which is having success rate of zero. So let's tap that. And when we tap that, we can capture the requests. And once we have captured, we can just stop and pause to see the status. Status is unknown, which means there is a problem in this particular uh, API. So that's how we can use Linkerd, uh, the power of Linkerd to actually capture where exactly the error is coming in a particular application where all the pods are running, but still the application is not uh, performing as it should. So the, those are some of the use cases of uh, Linkerd and the service mesh. Uh, if you want a deep dive session on Linkerd, then post in the comment box, like, subscribe, share the video, press the bell icon, and thank you for watching.